Hey everybody, it's Tina Noir. Um, this isn't so much a full kit cooking video. These pieces have been sitting in the fridge uh, for the last couple hours. Um, my best friend came over tonight and um, we made chicken crust pizza. So I ground it up because I had bought some boneless skinless chicken breast and I have a meat grinder so I threw it through the meat grinder and I added, since it was about two and a half pounds, I added two cups of shredded Parmesan, I added two eggs, and I, then I put uh, about three to four uh, teaspoons of both garlic and onion powder, a little bit of seasoning salt, just a quick shake, and some freshly ground pepper and I mixed it all together and I was able to separate it into two pizzas roughly about 12 inches each and on one is this one we put um, hot sauce for the sauce we put uh, red onion uh, some yellow um, yellow and orange diced pepper and cheese and then for this one we put uh, a combination I put about oh four tablespoons of ketchup with about one and a half tablespoons of mustard and we used that for the sauce and then we crumbled up some bacon diced up some red onion and some tomatoes and we put some sliced pickles on it and I think I said bacon already and tomatoes and everything and put cheese on it and that was the second one so and it made about two 12 inch pizzas they were thin crust uh, make sure you grease your pan really well with cooking spray um, they still might have a tendency to stick but what I do is I'll cook the crust for about 18 to 20 minutes um, about halfway through the cook time pull it out and drain off any water um, and then put it back in the oven if you want a crispier crust you can cook it longer but after the crust is cooked you can pull it out of the oven and put all your toppings on it and then throw it back in the oven for about five to eight minutes to melt the cheese and then you got a good low carb high protein keto friendly uh, pizza so we did this last time except we did um, the pizza crust we just put the whole two and a half pounds on one uh, cookie or not cookie but pizza tray cooked it up and it made it a thicker crust so it was a little more soft crust but we made a chicken Caesar salad uh, pizza with it it was good don't get me wrong it's just um, I think even in, next time we do this because I want to try to do a Mexican version of this someday is do it as a thin crust because it seemed to crisp up a little bit better and it was just super yummy and delicious but I wanted to do this quick little video to show you what my friend and I made tonight I was thinking of doing a recording of a video but I realized I hadn't charged my camera battery since the last video I did on the Ohula markers so I still need to charge it it's just I have enough battery life to do this quick little video so I will be posting some pictures on my Facebook page as soon as my friend sends them to me of what the pizzas looked like when they came out of the oven so I will try to put a link to that in the description as soon as I'm able so but I thought I'd show that and it was super yummy super filling um, so yeah, if you're looking to eat a little more healthy and lose weight like I'm doing, this is one way to do it. Thanks for watching everybody, and thanks to new, all my new people who joined my channel. I appreciate it. So, take care everybody.